Oh, oh, we got a fish on. Oh, not anymore. We don't. <laughs> Wait, do we still? Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fishing Planet. It has been a long time, and man, we just <laughs> we just ripped this guy halfway across the map. All right. So we got ourselves a young largemouth bass. Man, it has been a long time since I've played this game. That's a good looking bass though. So I'm at the Mudwater Flats and I've got a nice red grub on here and looks like the fish are biting. That's the first one of the day. So are we going to keep him? Can we keep him? Ah, we're going to keep him. So if you look on the left side here, we've got Mudwater Panfish Mission. We've got to catch blunt nose minnow, common shiner, black tail shiner, bluegill, pumpkin seed, green sunfish, and white crappie. So I think this one inch grub would be pretty good for that because a lot of these species aren't that big. So I think they'll be okay with this, but ooh, I hope I, I don't know if they get spooked if I run in towards the water here, but we'll see. All right, this looks like a pretty good spot. So I think I caught him somewhere. In, oh, there's a fish right there. I'll see if we can hit that here. Oh, right on the money. You guys see that? So he really liked it when I was twitching it. So see if we can get some twitching going on here. There we go. Good twitching. Maybe we have to cast farther. Yeah, I think we have to cast farther. I then pull it back in. Let's give that a shot here. Maybe we'll go in between all of them too. Oh yeah, look at that. Right in between those logs there. That's nice. Oh, is that a fish? Oh, I don't know what that was. We had something there. Whoa, is that a... Oh, yep, that's a fish right next to the shore. Holy crap. Oh, that's a big one too. Look at him fight. What did we get here? Oh, yeah, that's a nice grass pickerel. Look at that, guys. What a beauty. Holy crap. All right, how much did he sell for? 78 bucks. Yeah, that's a little bit more. But, yeah, still, it's not one of the fish we need to keep. But we're going to grab them anyways. I mean, we don't need to keep those other ones. We just need to catch them. All right, what do we got here? So, level 7. Yeah, <laughs> I barely played this game. And then it was a long time since I played it again. So we got a bunch of reels. Ooh, look at those spinners. I love spinners. Fishing is probably one of my favorite things to do in real life. And it has been, I think, maybe three years since I've gone fishing. But my favorite thing to use were spinners. I had a nice perch one. Oh, man, nothing beat that. So I definitely think there was more fish there. But I'd like to get a little bit of a change of scenery here. And we're not catching the right type of fish. So I think we need to switch things up. I want to grab my nice uh, little perch spinner. Drop that in there. And yeah, I think it's good to go. So we'll come down over here. We don't want to go anywhere with too many weeds because this will definitely get snagged. But we want to go near them so that we can... Oh yeah, like look at this right here. There's a patch of weeds right there. If we cast... Oh yeah, that's right. So we can actually control. But I don't like that. I like to, you know, kind of eyeball it myself. There we go. Like, ah, oh, kind of messed up there. I probably should have uh, casted farther. But now I know. But I kind of like doing that myself. You know what? I think we need to switch it up then. So I've got myself... Let's see. A fairly heavy casting spoon here. Try that on. I mean, it's, it's only a third of an ounce, but... I think it's a little bit beefier than the last one. There we go. Oh yeah, that went way farther with a lot less force. So it's definitely heavier. Maybe we'll do... I don't know. I kind of want to go fast with this one. See what happens. I don't know if they can bite when I'm reeling in super quick. Or if this is just to get the lure in faster. It doesn't seem like anyone really cared there. So maybe not. But let's see. Do we even get a snag if we go through this? Let's pull it on through. And if I do get snagged, I just got to make sure I pull it tight. Oh, there we go. Think. Oh, that is a fish. Nice. There definitely was something hiding in there. All right. So we want him to. There we go. He's jumping. I don't want him to spit the hook, though. Come on. Yeah, he's not too big, whatever he is. I think it's just a. I think it's a largemouth. Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, 
and we got him let's see so we got an achievement Bassmaster. he's a young largemouth Ooh, one pound so that's our record right there look at that fish Ooh, he's a big boy all right so you already know we're gonna keep him because he's he's pretty good looking so man we're getting a lot of bass but we're not getting what i want though so maybe for some of these panfish here we need to be using uh maybe we need to be using worms let's see i got my second pole here i've got worms set up with a bobber all right i don't really know how to make the line go down lower but we're gonna see if we can figure it out here so i want to go oh okay i don't have a choice it doesn't go up very far at all i don't know how to control maybe i have to control it when it's in my hands how, how far down it goes but we've got hooks with red worms that sounds pretty appetizing to me let's cast along the side here probably oh yeah that's way too shallow all right let's do maybe we'll do 50 probably 50 out here yep that's not bad we're pretty near the shore there there's a lot of cover so i don't know i'm expecting there to be a panfish right in there there's something big out there i just saw some ripples right at the tip of the pole oh here we go i was fucking scratching my head <laughs> Hey, we got him. That's a lot easier. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a, it's a common shiner. That's one less thing we need to catch. Nice. But they really don't sell for very much, so we're going to release it. Oh, look at him. <laughs> the little fins flipping around and stuff. Ooh, that was something big right there. All right, so let's run back over here. Wait, can we go this way? Ooh, what's down here? You know what? Screw that. We're going to go this way. No, we, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. <laughs> we're going to go back to those logs there. I think we can teleport across the river too. So that might not be a bad idea because there looks to be a lot of weeds on that side. Yeah, there's a tree there. So it's going to be a little bit darker. I think they're going to like it in those shadows right there. Yeah. But before we head over there, I'm going to see, can I whip it way out there? No, I can't. And it's pretty damn shallow. All right, let's see. We're going to drop this down a bit. Oh, shit. Not what I wanted to do at all. Huh. I don't see much of anything. Oh, wait a second. What in the hell? How did that happen? I was just messing around and tossing it out. I didn't expect that at all. So there we go. We got another one. A blunt nose shiner. Yep, look at that little hook right there. That's perfect for him. <laughs> what a dumb little fish. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. That is the stupidest. Oh my god. All right, well, I'm I'm in photo mode, but I don't really know how to take a photo. So we're going to we're just going to have to go. We saw that. That was beautiful. What a wonderful selfie with that fish. Oh, shit. I did it again. Yeah, I don't really know how photo mode works, but good enough. And maybe we'll just take a screenshot there with steam. There we go. That's that's the best fish I've ever seen. We're going to keep him. That's a monster. So we're, we're actually we're going to go over uh, not missions map here. Uh, we're on this side of the bank. We want to go over to this side. So let's make our way over there. Great. And that's that tree we we're talking about. So let's run up. Yup, right in here. This is where we want to be. I think we can make the, the line go down a little bit more. Let's do 45. Toss it right out there next to that. And no, we got to. Yeah, no. Let's get this thing up to like 100. Can we go that high? 98 inches. There we go. Whipper way out there. Yup, it'll, it'll do it. So it's pretty deep right there. All the way down max depth. Oh. Oh. Nice. And we got a new fish. Bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yeah, that is a fine looking bluegill. Let's see if I can snap a little picture of him. And you know we got to go into photo mode. Take that. <laughs> Look at that beautiful grin on him. Wonderful. All right. So, man, we have a lot of other species to catch here. And 19? No, we're going to release you. You can toss back in the water there, bud. You know what, guys? We're going to switch back because we know it works. Where is it? Let's put, uh, let's put a jig head on. And we're going to go 
We're going to go with a big grub here. The two incher. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe if we cast all the way across. Oof. Yeah, she gets out there. Yeah, she gets out there a little bit too far. Uh, actually, I want to switch this up here. And do right there. Oh, that was a little bit too early, but that's fine. We'll let it drop down. And uh, then we'll do a little bit of a twitching motion here. It's going to take a while to get down to the bottom, but that's fine. And there we go. So now we're going to twitch and reel in. Right across the bottom. It's going to take a while to get over to us, but it's going to go past those weeds there. And I think we're going to get something really nice. Oh, there we go. Yep, fish on. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, it's trying to run. Let's pull it back this way. Coming. Oh, no. Wow, it's really running, but it's kind of coming towards us, so that's fine. Keep the tension on. Come on. What is this? It's really putting up a fight. Thankfully, we've got a drag set pretty high there. So we can't really go too far. I don't really know how to set the drag. I completely forgot how to do that. So if you guys know how to reset the drag, please let me know down in the comments. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. I can even get my pull up. And he's jumping out of the water. Oh, so it's a nice bass. No wonder it's fighting so hard. Come on, buddy. There we go. Woo, look at that. That's a big old bass. 13.68 inches. Holy shit, guys. Look at the size of that bass. All right, so we're going to keep him because it's $105 right there. That's pretty nice. See, what did I tell you guys? He pull it into those weeds right there. Nice little twitching. And let's see if we can get it right. Maybe we went too far. Oh, my God. We just barely made it. All right. So lift and drop. I don't know what that is. I thought I was twitching. There we go. Now we're twitching. So the bass seem to really like the twitching grubs here, but everything else, not so much. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, he's way out there. There we go. Yeah, we can just reel it in now. He's not as big as I thought. Yeah, he can't really fight us. Look at this. We're just reeling in. Coming right to us. What is it? It's a bass again. Wow, that's actually a pretty good bass. It's 12 inches. Huh. I don't know why he wasn't really fighting. That was that was the, probably the easiest fish of the day. Ah, right, yeah, we're going to release him. He really wasn't worth very much. Is there anywhere we can go down here? Because I'd love to come on down to a different spot here because I'm kind of getting bored of that area. So, yes, there is more down that way, but we'll check this out here. All right. So, you know what? We're going to cast. Maybe I'll use this to get there. We're going to cast right there. Perfect. That was right on the money. All right. And then we're going to do our normal twitch here. Here we go. Nice fish. We'll just keep on reeling. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's not going into the red, so I don't think they're going to snap the line. Come on now. I definitely think it's a bass. It's fighting like one. Oh my god, he's, he's not coming in at all. He's pulling me out, actually. Well, we got 382 feet. I think we'll be fine. He can run as far as he wants to. We'll tire him out. Come on now. I don't want him to jump and spit the hook though. So I got to keep the tension on. 60 feet. There we go. He's starting to come in a little bit. What a fighter. Holy shit. He does not want to give up. Come on. Oh, look at that big ground right there. 40 feet. 30 feet. Yep, he's done. He's done. 
He gave up completely. Now that is a record right there. 1.75 pounds. That's a 14.6 incher. Woo. Look at you. What a chunky boy. All right, so you know we're going to keep him. So I'm going to snag him there. I think we're going to go to a different place because as much as I love bass fishing, I want to catch something a little bit different. All right, so we're going to go all the way over to Rocky Lake here. Um, do we have any other places? No, the next place we get is Emerald Lake, but I think we need to be level eight for that. So we'll go to Rocky Lake. And do we have a license? No, we don't. So we're going to buy ourselves a basic license here. There we go. Good for one day. And let's head on over. 2000 Oh my god. Why is this game so expensive? Man, I really want you to spend in-game money. <laughs> All right. Travel over there. Okay, so we're here now. Uh, what's the forecast looking like? So it looks like we're going to catch some good stuff for the next maybe hour or two. And then it's going to kind of die off. And then towards 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock, we've got a huge spike there. That's going to be nice. All right, so I'm going to come over to, I think maybe, okay, that might be a problem, but I saw a fish jump right there. So let's see if we can get as close as possible. A little bit early so we don't mess up. There we go. Let's let it drop down to the bottom here. And I don't know what they like here. They might like the twitch and they might like me just reeling it in. I'm going to try straight and slow. Yep, that's what you got to do. Straight and slow right there. Look at that fish already. Not very big, but easy. Holy shit, that was bigger than I thought. What an awesome fish. Colorado golden trout. Oh my god, that is golden. Oh my god, that is majestic. Take a picture of that. So we're going to keep him for sure. That was awesome. All right, but that's a little bit too easy. I want something with a little bit more fight. So I'm going to cast out way out there. Let's see, can I come in more? There we go. Right there and boom so now if we catch one it's gonna take a lot to get it in and we're just gonna reel it in straight and slow and see if we get anything in the middle of the lake if we do it's probably gonna be pretty damn big oh there's a little fish jumping there there's a lot of fish jumping i don't know we might get lucky we're about middle of the water column which is pretty good now, maybe I let it drop, actually. Go down a little bit deeper. See if there's anything down at the bottom. There we go. And now we'll reel it in. Much better. Much better. That's a fish. That's how you do it right there, guys. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. It's just coming towards us. And he's jumping. But he doesn't realize it, but he's already caught. Come here, buddy. Not as big as the last one, but still pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's keep him. We still have plenty of weight left in our fish hut, so we can grab him. And let's head over to a different spot, see if we can catch something else. I definitely know there's different types of trout in here. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to change this here. So I want to change my mission. Uh, we need rocky bluegill white bass. Every type of trout. Wait, do I need to be tracking this? Oh, okay, so we're here at Rocky Lake here. But even though we've gotten a... Oh, we have to catch and release. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem there. We've been keeping them. So if I just let one go, does that count? Maybe we'll try that. Once we come over here to the water, I'll see if I can let them go out of my uh, my fishing thing. Can I, where is it? How do I do this? Or, or do I just have them now? They're mine. Yep, nope, they're mine. All right. <laughs> we're not going to be able to let them go. That's fine. We'll catch another one. I think I see a log that's in the water over there. And I believe... Oh, yeah. Look at the fish already jumping. I think those are lily pads. So, let's see. If I toss right there... Oh, that was perfect. That was right on. Yep. Oh, let's see if we reel in. Oh, we got weeds already. Shit. Well, that's not what we wanted. Oh, no. Did we get it stuck? That's so much line we're going to lose. So do you guys know if I just keep yanking here, if it'll eventually come out or if it's snagged, it's snagged. I, I don't really know. So if you guys could let me know down in the comments, that'd be helpful. Because this fucking sucks. Man, I don't really want to cut the line, but we might have to. How do I cut the line though? All right, here we go. I figured out how to break the line. Do I want to break it? Not really, but I think we have to. Shit. All right, we got to reassemble here. How much line do we still have on here? 
Uh, who knows? All right. What do we have? Um, I've got another jig head. Maybe we'll do... We'll do barbless jig head. And let's try a yellow shad. That's a little bit different here. No, we still have quite a bit of line. I'm going to try again. I know it's probably pretty stupid, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> a little bit closer this time, though. All right. And that's perfect. We're going to go really slow. Yeah. So if you look down in the bottom right, that's my speed, how quickly I'm reeling in. And I just realized that I can adjust it by middle mouse button. So if I scroll in, I'm going quick. If I scroll down, I'm going really slow. Actually, I'm losing line. There we go. So I'm getting better at this game slowly, but I'm getting better. And it doesn't... Oh, there we go. That's a fish. I was just about to say nothing really seems to be interested. Come on. There he is. Jumped him right over top of those weeds there. And look at that. Pull him in. And we got him. Golden Colorado Trout. Oh, that's a new personal record. Well, damn it. I don't want to keep it. But we need to release it, I think. So well, I guess we'll let him go. But first, whew, what a screenshot. Holy hell, that's pretty. All right, let's let him go. Wait, hold on. Can I look at my... Yeah, okay, so I can release them. If I release this... Does that count? No, it doesn't count. I need to do it from here. There we go. Wait a second. I did catch and release it. What the hell? Why didn't that use a barbless spoon? Oh. Well. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. Barbless spinners. So we could buy... I think we're going to go with... Nano spinner? We'll do an 8th ounce nano spinner. Item placed in my backpack. So if we go back to our inventory here, it should be right there. So let's equip this. Now, there we go. That's what we needed to do. Okay. So I just released a giant fish for no goddamn reason. Okay, so if I go above this, I'm definitely going to get snagged on it. And I think right there is a good idea. We'll pull it past that log. And yeah, it's really shallow over here. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Let's see. Anything good? We'll kind of pull it in so it just barely goes past the log. Kind of cuts in towards the shallow. Come on. Please be something good. There we go. Fish on. Look at that. Well, he's, he's trying to jump, but he's just making it harder for himself. He's just going to come in quicker. Here we go. What did we get here? We got ourselves a young cutthroat trout. That's exactly what we need. And we're going to release it. There we go. Yep. That's how we do it right there. Perfect. All right. Only two more. We need a Colorado, Colorado golden trout. And we need to catch ourselves a rainbow trout. Do a little bit early. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> how did that happen? So I think if I move while I'm doing it, it completely messes it up. So let's try again, actually. A little bit early, but that's all right. There we go. I think we can make this work here. Yep. There we go. Fish on. That's exactly what we needed to do. Oh, I think he's going to get us. Oh, he's going to get us caught in the rocks. Shit. Oh, no. He's out in the middle now. He's out in the middle. Oh, he's pretty big. He's pulling us. There we go. Come on. I, this is going to be a monster. This is going to be a fucking monster. We're 130 feet out now. 140, 150. Holy shit. He's just going to keep pulling us, I think. Thankfully, we've got 372 feet, and I don't think the, the pond is this big, so he can't get away from us. Even if he pulls us out as far as he can go, we're still going to have him on. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep reeling and hope he just decides to come all the way to me. Hopefully, <laughs> our rod and reel don't break by then, because they're starting to wear down a little bit. Oh, did it break? I think he spit us. Shit. Fish escaped because of low line tension. Oh, fucking hell. That sucks. No way. I kept reeling the whole time. He must have ran towards us and I didn't reel it in quick enough. 
Oh no, that's heartbreaking. Oh, man. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I don't want to play anymore. So if you, if you guys feel bad for me, don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys like today's video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. My name is Rooster, and I'll see you in the next one.